Today on Talking Solutions, we've got Kathy Top. We're going to talk about Goodwill. Also joining us, Tanisha McCullough. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having us. Thank you. I actually put the call out for this one, didn't I, Kathy? I sent <laughs> off the email and said, you know, I think there's something I'd love to talk about. If I could start, you have been related to Goodwill as long as I've known you. Mm-hmm. When you come across someone and a mention is made of Goodwill, what kind of bounce back do you get on that? Because Goodwill means so many things. Usually I get... Oh, I love to donate to them, which we think is fantastic because those donations are what fund our mission. But what Goodwill really is about as a nonprofit is job placement and job training. We are all about getting people back to work and putting people in situations where they can earn their own way and contribute to the local economy. That's why our mission services is so critical because the donations and our stores, that all funds the mission. I think of Goodwill as a great place to donate, but I didn't know until last year Goodwill is job placement, training, and the veterans. (laughs) We have many programs that help help our veterans. In fact, we just launched a new one. We actually partnered with the Army at the beginning of this year for the PAYS Partnership, which is Partnership for Youth Success. That's a program that actually works when it comes to our Goodwill employees, our team members. We basically pledge that if someone goes into the Army and expresses a desire to work for Goodwill, the Army will train them into that position. It could be anything. It could be in our marketing department, in our finance department, in our retail department, management, a donation ambassador. And when they leave the Army, we will guarantee them an interview with Goodwill. It's part of our commitment to serving our veterans because they've served us. And so we believe as a major employer and a major nonprofit here in Southern Nevada that it's the right thing to do. When I saw information come across my desk that had to do with new things to support our veterans here in Nevada, I think a lot of people don't even realize how many vets we have living amongst us. We are a military town with Nellis here, and we have struggled as a community with unemployment. So when the entire community struggles with unemployment, our veteran population struggles with that even more so because, as Tanisha can tell us, veterans and their family members can face very specific challenges when it comes to reentering the workforce. Yeah, typically when they're leaving the military or if they are a spouse for that matter, they have moved around a lot. So when you're looking at somebody's resume or when you're looking at their application online and you're noticing that they bounce from one job every year or every two years, an employer takes a second look at that. And then they wonder why. Well, maybe they don't know that it was because of their military service that they moved around a lot. So it's really important for us as Goodwill and our veteran integration program to really help them express that through their interviews, through their resumes, and through their online application process as well. The Veterans Integration Program. There's a lot of different elements. You can help set up resumes. Doesn't Goodwill also offer some training? Absolutely. The great thing about this program is the employment special are actually veterans themselves. And so that was a key thing for us because they understand the population more than myself would, who's a non-veteran. I may have family members, but I've never been in that world. So it was really important for us to have veterans themselves serving the veterans. They understood the population. But some of the things that we can offer them with the one-on-one assistance is assistance with their resume, helping them with their online applications. We can assist them putting them through some trainings or retrainings if necessary. We can assist them through our workshops as well. So we offer many workshops, including first impressions, interview workshop, things like that to help them get prepared to return to the workforce. A lot of times the jobs that they had while serving in the military, those skills translate, but they're not labeled the same. Does that make sense? Yes, definitely. They drive a specific truck, for instance. In the military, the word can be something different. So a lot of times they put their resume together based on what titles are in the military, where there's easy translations that you can do to the civilian world that we help them with on their resume. It's definitely a huge transition for them to stop using some of that lingo that they use in the military as opposed to some civilian world. Those are things that their employment specialist works with them to change and work on some of the lingo that us regular folk use. (laughs) Well, and having veterans also working with them from the side of goodwill, they already speak the language. Absolutely. And you know, it's really interesting because a lot of times they went through the same things. They use 
used the lingo and the jargon and they really struggled. Once they left the military, we have some people that were in for 20 plus years and so that's all they've known. So really to be able to understand that lingo and help them to express that in their interviewing and their resumes is helpful. Our veterans have had such difficulty coming out of active service. I know there's been a lot of problems. That's, I believe, one of the reasons why we've had veteran unemployment, homelessness, different problems. If there's a way that people with goodwill and the VIP program can also kind of hold their hand and say, let us help you merge back in, it's going to be okay. Definitely. And sometimes that is difficult for the staff because they don't want the help. They think they can do it themselves. And then they reach a point where they kind of hit rock bottom. And so coming in and having somebody who's been through that is really helpful for them in getting back into the civilian world. So the new program is called Army Pays. And Kathy, you were saying also that when someone's in the military and they're serving in the army, the army says, you do this program, Goodwill is going to guarantee you an interview. Now, that's not 100% guarantee the job. Correct. But that's an interview for working with Goodwill of Southern Nevada. So it's a signed agreement. We had a ceremony where we had the army and our CEO, Steve Chartrand, actually sign a written agreement that said, if a recruit wants to work for Goodwill at the end of their service, the Army will train them and we will guarantee them an interview. For us, it's a win-win because this is a skilled person coming out of the military. For the Army, it's a win-win because it's a guarantee of an interview and possibly a job for someone who is leaving the service. We're not the only company in Southern Nevada. I believe the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department has also signed on. But we believe, like I said before, as a big employer here in Southern Nevada, It's the right thing to do. And we're happy to extend those interviews for our service members. Kathy Topp is here with Goodwill today. Also, Tanisha McCullough, when you talk about Goodwill, what kind of numbers are you talking? We've experienced significant growth over the past few years, and we couldn't do that without the community. We are at about 800 team members, 800 employees, about 12 stores, 40 donation locations. The growth of not only our staff, but also our presence in Southern Nevada is huge huge because it means more money for those critical job placement and job training programs that Tanisha was talking about, not just for our veterans, but for anyone, for people who have lost their jobs or been laid off, for those with disabilities who can find some things challenging. We can help with that as well. The growth of Goodwill of Southern Nevada in this valley is critical because it not only means more services, free services, no cost services for people in this community when it comes to job placement and job training, no matter your circumstance, no matter your disability, but it also means means jobs. Every time we open up a brand new store, we create approximately 30 to 40 new jobs. Those are people who are now getting paychecks. Those are promotions that we can give people so they can support their families. It's a really big deal. At the end of last year, we opened up the Boulevard Mall. That's the one I want to go see. I'm not (laughs) there yet. Oh, it's our flagship store. It's a fantastic store. Great place to shop. Huge. Lots of selection. But there are a couple team members there who I met and got to know personally and learned their stories about what a job means to them. They maybe have overcome different struggles, leaving abusive relationships, overcoming maybe alcohol or drug addictions. They are now getting back into the workforce. They're proving their work history, getting a paycheck, getting an apartment, getting a house, being able to support their kids or get their kids back. I mean, a job is life changing. And to think that that all happens because of a thrift store is pretty incredible when you think about it. The lives that are touched, not just by the revenue that's created for the programs, but also those concrete jobs within the community. Getting a second chance. That is what Goodwill is about. Second chances, getting a hand up and not necessarily a handout. Because when you get a hand up, it changes the rest of your life. It doesn't just change that very moment. Put you on the right path to be successful. Exactly. Well, now, as far as the Boulevard Mall store that you're referring to, which I was in anticipation of, I need to free up my schedule and get over there. Isn't that in the old Dillard store? It is. And in fact, there's a training center for our career connections there as well. Yes, we are. are currently hosting some of our mini workshops there. It's a larger space for us to allow more people to come. So right now we're hosting one day a week, but once we get it fully functioning, definitely be hosting more often at that Boulevard location. So we're really excited. What happens, Tanisha, when you talk mini workshop? Some of the workshops that we offer, like I said, are our first impressions workshop.
workshops. We have a skills-based workshop. So learning how to basically create a resume and building the skills on your resume, whether they're soft or hard skills. So there's a workshop specifically for that. And then there's an additional workshop to learn how to actually put a resume together. What are the different parts of the resume? What are the different sections of a resume? What should you and should you not have on your resume? How long should it be? How short should it be? And then after that, they can go to another workshop, which is our million dollar resume, which allows them to actually sit down on a computer and put their resume together with a staff member or two assisting them putting their resume together. Our goal is when they leave our center, they have a resume that they can utilize that day for their job search. We also have our interviewing workshops. We have a workshop for mock interviews, things like that. Anything to prepare them to get back to work. I know we've been talking about the emphasis that Goodwill places on our veterans. But as you said a moment ago, Kathy, this is not just for veterans. This is for anyone in the community, right, who needs the services, the employment services and such. It is. And, you know, those workshops, which are, again, at no cost to the job seeker, are so great because even me, I can sit and I can write an email and I can look at the email a 100 times and I will not catch something because my mind is seeing what my mind wants to see. Having that second set of eyes to look over something or say, hey, have you thought about this resume? It's not quite telling the story that maybe you want it to tell. And so let's sit here and figure it out a little bit. Or let me give you some examples of ways that you could structure your resume that might be more efficient for you. And then the other thing is those interviewing workshops are pretty fantastic to sit in because, again, it's those cues that you are giving to an employer that you may not even realize that you're giving and they pick up on. And that might be the reason why you're not getting the second interview. You're not getting the job. And it just takes takes someone to say, hey, you've seen that firsthand many times. Absolutely. A lot of times you get people, they repeat words or they say things out of context that really for an interview you would never say, but they have been saying it for years and they don't realize that that's what's keeping them from making that next move and getting that job that they really, really wanted. So doing those mock interviews and having them go through that interview workshop is really helpful. We can videotape the interview as well so they can visually see themselves in that mock interview and see some of the things that they're saying. So it's helpful for them to not only hear it, but sometimes see it as well. And then they can improve their skills and gain that job that they wanted. If somebody was looking to take advantage of the services offered by Goodwill as far as resume and getting hired, training, all of these things, where do they go? We have two career centers, a location that's on Cheyenne and Martin Luther King. It's 1280 West Cheyenne. And then we have another location that's on Tropicana. East Trop. Yeah, 3133 Trop East yeah. Tropicana, Tropicana and Pecos. The good thing is you don't have to have an appointment. You can just walk into our centers. We did away with appointments. We found that it was making people wait too long, two weeks, sometimes three weeks, just to get in and on an appointment. And then we had a lot of no-shows sometimes. So our goal was to help you right then and there. What is your need today? And what can I help you with in the future as well? So if today I have an interview tomorrow and I need some interview clothing, I can walk into one of the career centers and get that today instead of having to then wait for an appointment. Or if I just need a little touch-up on my resume, I can just walk into the center and say, hey, can you just look at my resume and give me some feedback, you can get that the very same day at either one of our centers. That is the day that you want to see a job seeker when they wake up that morning and go, today's my day. Exactly. And then they don't have to wait. They can go to one of the Goodwill centers Absolutely. and make sure that they're ready to go and you get them while they're hot. And you know, Tanisha made a good point too. It's not just looking at the resume and the interviewing, but it's all those things that maybe could inhibit someone from getting to an interview. Sometimes it's transportation. And so there's bus passes. Bus passes. We have gas cards if they have a vehicle. I call this the land of cards. You kind of need a card to go and do anything. So health cards, anything like that, we can assist with. A lot of times in the community, they don't take a job because they don't have the funds to get these items. And maybe it's the uniform. Maybe it's the transportation. Maybe it's a specific car that they need to go to work. We're here to help them so they can walk in that very same day and get assistance with those cards or those clothes or that transportation. Conversations about career centers in the past, they've talked talked about some people who don't have paperwork, birth certificates, and the kind of IDs that you need to do anything. If you've got all of that, you don't think of it as being a stumbling block, but it truly is. Absolutely. And those are some of the questions that the employment specialist will ask them. Do you have an ID? Do you have a social security card? That means you're work ready. Well, if you don't, we need to refer you to the social security office to get that. They're absolutely free. Can we help you gain an ID or can we refer you somewhere to get your birth certificate? 
certificate so that you can get to work. Those are little things that people don't realize that they need to get back to work. They job search and they hunt for months and months and then come to find out they get a job offer and they can't accept it because they don't have the items to take the job offer. So those are some of the things that as the employment specialist assist them to get back to work. Remove the obstacles. Absolutely. We call them barriers. To go with the career counseling centers with Goodwill, can you also get that information online? You can find all about our services at goodwill.vegas. You can also call the Career Connection Centers at 702-214-2020. And there are good tips that you can find online as well. I think we have a couple YouTube videos. A lot of people are using online services nowadays. Sometimes they don't leave their house, but how do we access those people? We're really trying to incorporate some online workshops and trainings so that if you are at home and you want to just go on YouTube and look up how should I be interviewing, what kind of questions am I going to be asked and how should I answer those questions? You'll be able to do that on our YouTube channel and we'll have more that are coming soon, but we have a couple now that I think are a good starting point for us, but we're definitely trying to incorporate more of that because we are finding that people are really using those online resources more. I love being online. I know it's also Goodwill. I can shop online. I was looking at this the other day. Mm -hmm. Electronics (laughs) and purses, the thrift stores, which help to fund your different endeavors. Doesn't everybody like to shop online? Absolutely. You don't have to leave the house. (laughs) (laughs) Having that availability of the workshops and the information, we talked about the fact that Goodwill not only serves our veteran population, especially coming back into general employment, but for everyday people who need the help here in town. Because with the whole downturn that we experienced several years ago, boy, Las Vegas got hit so hard. I think we're still pulling out of it. I mean, we're getting there. But to know that it's available for anybody who needs it. Something we can also look into online? Absolutely. Go on Google.Vegas and they can get all the information. It's open to anybody. No matter what their barriers are, their background is, we can assist them. I also want to make sure that we ask, what can we do? Donations, certainly. Clean out your closet. You hit the nail on the head. You know, a lot of us want to give back, but we may not all have $100, $1,000 to write a big check to give to an organization. But it can be as easy and just as impactful for you to go through your closet, go through your kitchen cabinets, for you to take all those old DVDs that you've seen a bazillion times and take them to one of our donation centers. We've got more than 40 around the valley. They are all staffed with a donation ambassador. And we do that for a variety of reasons. Number one is part of our mission. It's a job. That is someone who is getting a paycheck and making a living. We also do it for security because we know the value of those donations. And we do it for customer service because when you donate to Goodwill, you will always get a tax receipt. So it's really that easy. All you have to do is clean out your closet. And it sounds simple, but really the impact is profound. When you donate to Goodwill, we take those items, we sort them, we put them in our stores, people purchase them, and that provides the revenue for our job placement and training services that Tanisha has been talking about. It also creates jobs in this community. So again, Mm -hmm. it's that dual track that's happening. Because every step of the way, from the donation to the processing, to prepping them for resale, to actually selling them, all of those steps are guided by Goodwill employees. Exactly. The more you donate, the more jobs are created within Goodwill. The more funding that we can do to help people in this community who are looking to find employment at other businesses in the Valley or for us to help employers grow their businesses and hire more employees in their business. It really is a very simple process, but the impact is huge. A lot bigger than you realize. Exactly. And it all comes from a pair of jeans, Mm -hmm. an old set of plates, and that ability to take some of those goods and really create a long lasting impact in the community. I've always said if somebody else would get more joy out of something that I have, then I'm obligated to give it to them. If you donate those items to Goodwill, it actually benefits a whole wide range of people. Exactly. And we all have things that we are not using. I mean, isn't the general rule of thumb is if you haven't worn something in your closet for about a year that you should donate it? I try to go through my things as often as I can. And it's hard because sometimes I'll look at that and be like, oh, I mean, if I lose 10 pounds, I'll still be able to fit into those jeans. But the reality is, is that if I lose 10 pounds, maybe I'll want to buy something else. It's just a good practice to get into. Go through your things and donate the things that you aren't using because someone else can use them. And more than that, it provides 
provides that stream of revenue that helps with the job training and job placement. And I don't even know if we mentioned the numbers, but no. last year we helped 2,300 people in this community go back to work. Wow. And that's just people who got jobs. It doesn't count the thousands more that accessed our centers for other services. So it really has a profound impact here in the community. Kathy Top and Tanisha McCullough are with us from Goodwill. I signed up for the email. It's about once or twice a week, maybe. Mm -hmm. I'll get notifications that Goodwill has a hiring event. And very often, it has nothing to do with jobs directly with Goodwill. It's got to do with you partnering with another employer. Absolutely. In 2015, we hosted about 30 hiring events for external employers. So not only do we host hiring events for internal hiring, but anybody can access these services, any business. And they're all free of charge for the business to come in and host the event. We can create flyers. We can post information online for the hiring event as well. It's really a win-win for our clients to come in. They're coming in every day anyway. So why not have a hiring event here while they're coming in almost every day or every other day to our center and have a business here available to them that they could potentially interview with? When you're on that email list, not only do you hear about hiring events, they send me sale information. We do do quite a bit of sales and we encourage people to shop because again, that's part of that whole cycle of giving. So you can find yourself something great and you can help the community at the same time. I don't know anybody in my circle of friends, family, acquaintances who doesn't need to streamline their life more. We've all got too much stuff. I know. And when you give it to a great organization like Goodwill, and there are other organizations as well, we can really take those things and change someone's life. You know, we encourage when anyone gives to look at the nonprofit that you're giving to. Check them out. Check on their website. Make sure that they're a registered registered 501c3. Be a responsible donor. You know, we gave a lot of donation advice at the end of the year just because we know that there are a lot of worthy organizations here in town that those donations can mean a huge deal to. We're one of them. They can make a big difference in what you do. The Army is saying if you sign up while you're in the service for the Army Pays program, they are guaranteeing connections with Goodwill. And if you want to go work for Goodwill when you're done, we will guarantee that you'll get an interview. Absolutely. You've got it 100% correct. And so for the Army, it's an opportunity, too, to use that as a recruiting tool for people to come into the Army. And as an employer, it's a great opportunity for us to have a very highly skilled, responsible employee when they're done with their service. It's that win-win situation. But yes, anyone from the Army who has signed up for this PAYS program and has expressed a desire to work within Goodwill of Southern Nevada, and as we were talking about before, it's not just retail or donations. We have a marketing department. We have a finance department. We have a human resources department. There are a lot of great careers within the Goodwill organization as a whole. So we're excited for this to get going. It's new. Signed the agreement. Started this year. I hope for much success with that. Goodwill, I know that we've talked in the past about how people, in many cases veterans, who come along to Goodwill, their first chances are perhaps being a donation ambassador at one of the dozens of sites where Mm -hmm. people can donate their goods to Goodwill. They can start as a donation ambassador and prove that they're a great employee and work their way up through the ranks for different positions. They can, absolutely. In fact, about 25% of all of our donation ambassadors, and those are the men and women who are at the donation centers gathering the goods from you when you donate are veterans. We have quite a few veterans in other aspects of our nonprofit as well. We have grown significantly. And last year, I believe we hired about 170 new jobs that were created here within the community. And about 20% of those new jobs were filled by veterans. This is something that we take very seriously. In fact, at the PAYS program signing ceremony, our CEO, Steve Chartrand, actually challenged other employers to really step up to the plate. And many of have. We've seen a lot of employers actively hire veterans. But to say, hey, we know that these people who are coming out of service have great skills and they have great things that they can bring to any company here in Southern Nevada and to really give them a second chance and a second look on their resume and hire them. I think the biggest thing is really that level of independence that they've had all of this time. So allowing them to get a donation ambassador position and really it's an independent position. You're typically there. You may have a 
partner, maybe not. You're typically by yourself. You're giving great customer service. You're really the face of goodwill. The first person they see when you're coming to give your donations is that donation ambassador. So it allows them to put something great on their resume. But also within Goodwill, as Kathy was saying, there's lots of opportunity for growth. And we have several employees that have started at a donation ambassador position and have moved up throughout Goodwill and are in management positions and lead positions now. I like to call them lifers. It's a great company to work for. And it's a great start for some people who have either been out of work for a long period of time or are coming back into the civilian world. So veterans or not, if you're needing a job and need help in that area, Goodwill is a great place to go. It is. You were saying 25% or so of the people that you helped find employment last year were veterans. Is that about the number? It's 20% of the people that we hired within Goodwill were veterans. But the Army Pays Program, maybe that number's going to go up. <laughs> maybe. Tisha, you've got some recent numbers. Last year in 2015, we were able to get 210 veterans hired throughout the Valley. So great number for us. Program-wide, we've placed over 700 veterans since 2012. Goodwill. You're in the forefront as far as helping our veterans when they come out of the service. We would like to think so. (laughs) When we established this program back in 2012, it was due to a founding grant from Nevada Women's Philanthropy. And what we were seeing within our career connection centers is that there were a lot of veterans coming in who needed specific things. We knew that by having veterans on staff to help, that we'd be able to identify those needs and fill them sufficiently. Since that time, we've gotten additional funding through Bank of America, through some other foundations as well that can really help keep this program not only going, but growing. That's really the important thing. We have a commitment too from our leadership team that this program is here to stay because we have seen the results and we have seen what this program can do to impact and change lives. It's a great program. If somebody's looking for help through the program, where do they go? You mentioned, Tanisha, the Career Counseling Centers, that there's one at Cheyenne and MLK. There's also Tropicana at Pecos. Yes. You can easily walk in with no appointment. You can access it online line at goodwill.vegas. Yes. So anybody who needs those services, don't hesitate to take advantage, making sure the resume is on track, that you're ready to interview, that there are job opportunities out there, and let's get you back to work. As far as people who are not veterans, anybody here in Southern Nevada who's looking for that kind of assistance, resume, training, jobs, and the like, can do the same thing, right? Absolutely. No matter what your background is, from a master's of education to a high school diploma, even if you don't have a high school diploma, we're here to us. We want to create the goals that are your goals. When you come in, we're going to sit down with you one-on-one and go over what you're looking for. If you don't know what you're looking for, we have assessments that can help you figure that out. And we can do research together one-on-one to help you figure out what your goals are and where you want to be and what kind of career you're looking for. So that's if you're looking for work or things to help get you set up for that job. As far as what we can do to help, Kathy, if we have money, great, but... But a lot of us don't have a lot of extra money, so we do have a lot of extra stuff. Donate and or shop. You know, we do a couple big donation drives throughout the year. We've actually got one coming up in February. It's a little tongue-in-cheek. We call it our anti-Valentine's Day donation drive. (laughs) It's dump your ex's stuff. Okay. (laughs) Yes. Because we want everyone to turn that ill will that they may have towards an ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-spouse into goodwill. We ask that you take a look around and any of that stuff that maybe they left behind or that reminds you of him or her, do something great for the community and donate it to goodwill. Give away the excess baggage. (laughs) Oh, I like that one. (laughs) I'm going to steal that one. It's a fun kind of tongue-in-cheek donation drive, but really it happens at a time of year where people aren't necessarily thinking about donating because we have the end of the year donation rush. Which is a real big push. It's a huge push. And then we have spring cleaning. But the reality is we need a steady stream of donations to come in year-round every single month to be able to fund those programs that change so many lives. We have been doing this now for, I don't know, about five years, and the public has really gotten behind it because it's just something kind of fun. Did your ex move to Texas? Donate your boots? I can go on and on with the puns that we have. But the bottom line is those donations are important. They're critical, in fact. 
Um, so whether it's the Dump Your Exes Stuff donation campaign or spring cleaning or end of year donations, donations are needed 12 months out of the year. Find out everything you need to know at goodwill.vegas online. I like what you said. Donate and then shop. Because you know, I just cleared out the house. I've got extra room in the closet and now I get to replace it at a lesser cost. (laughs) I know and the opportunities are endless. Goodwill is a great place to buy professional wear, suits for all those ladies out there, high heels. You can even buy kids clothing, sporting equipment. Let's say you're going to have a special party for Valentine's Day and you're looking for some red dishes. Shop at one of our stores and you don't have to pay that full retail price. Everything in our stores, great quality. You're part of the recycling process. There's some great finds. We actually have some bloggers online. If you go to our social feeds, our Twitter account, who are posting amazing videos of all these outfits that they've created from Goodwill Finds. It's inexpensive, which is the best part. And you're helping the community. Win, win, win. I was doing just win, win, but I think we can go beyond (laughs) that now. It's Goodwill. Will, and it's all the wonderful things that they do for our community. Kathy Top, also Tanisha McCullough. Did I miss anything? I think we did a good job. I think you did a great yeah. job. The bottom line is Goodwill of Southern Nevada is here to help you find work. Whether you need a job right now or whether you need to be retrained, we're someone you can come to. It's no cost to you. What do you have to lose? We can help you get a job. We know we can. We can put you on the right track. As long as you want a job, we can help you work towards that goal. So we really encourage anyone listening who has a friend or a family member or yourself who maybe is looking for a new job or just to get a job, give us a call. Check us out online. Um, And if you do have a job and you want to help support the cause, all you have to do is clean out your closet. I'm into that. I like it. All right. We got jobs. We got stuff I can buy. It's all good. It's all good. Well, I'll tell you what. Sure appreciate you coming in and joining us today on Talking Solutions. Thank you so much. Thank you.